What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. Out here in the Panda Kitchen. Let's make some key lime pie. Hey guys, so I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but I actually have a deficiency where my body won't produce key lime pie on its own. And so I need to have a regular injection of key lime pie. It's just one of those freak diseases that you get. Now, what I've done here is I wanted to actually make a really small key lime pie, and I wanted to give you some tips on the easiest way to make it, because now you can actually get key limes and do all that stuff. First of all, I made a little graham cracker pie crust here. It's just graham cracker, crumbs, melted butter, some sugar. That's really, really easy, and then you fridge it, and it kind of becomes hard. So I, I put it in the bottom here of this little clear cup to kind of test this out and then the real key to this little bad boy is this thing i bought this this is something you can order on amazon and it is like key lime pie filling and it has just a little bit of like a light green pistachio look to it it kind of feels like jello um as soon as i got it i put it in the refrigerator but i think it's kind of shelf stable and uh we have i think two pounds of key lime pie filling now i would say if you were using this in one of those eight inch pre-made crusts, this might fill it up, but I feel like it might be just a little light for that. But I wanted to cut off the tip here and see if I could squeeze it into here and see if it's any good. I just cut off the tip there. Let's see if I can use this like a frosting squeezy. Ooh, that yeah, comes out kind of just like jello or pudding basically coming out in like a pudding consistency. Top it off with a little bit of whipped cream if you wanted, but because it kind of comes out like that, mainly because I think I probably fridged it when I probably shouldn't have, but that's what it looks like. And taste test time. I'm gonna get a little bit of that key lime pie filling and some of my homemade graham cracker crust all up on there. Oh yes, this was the easiest way to make key lime pie. Even those instant mixes, you have to usually add like butter and some sugar and some eggs and things like that. This comes right out of a tube and it tastes just like regular key lime pie. Now, just the way mine scored it out, my tip is, because I think these are shelf stable, to not fridge it, to keep it as liquidy as possible. Squeeze it into whatever you're making, you know, spread it around, and then fridge it. Kind of firm it up afterwards. Because obviously it holds a shape. Mmm. Has that lime-like tartness to it. Pretty tart. Mmm. Also, in this company makes fillings for, like, lemon meringue pie and whatnot, too, so... If you want to make pies cheap and easy, pick this up. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Mount Panda. Out!